Hi Libra, it's Elle here to do the November mid-monthly general reading. It's a general read, so it will not resonate with each and every Libra who views the video. But if it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Go ahead and click that like button. It really helps out. Okay guys, let's see what's going on. Libra. Some of you need to get some rest, people or things. Something's been energetically draining you. Um, could be work, home, your business, something to do with people. Um, somebody may not be good for you right now doesn't mean that they won't be good for you in the long run it's not good for you right now all right somebody thinks that you don't have the best intentions or vice versa someone you're dealing with you feel they don't have the best intentions Somebody's putting bugs in somebody's ear about maybe Libra. I feel like it's a Libra. Let's see what's going on. Nine of Swords in reverse. Yep. It looks like you're going to get that much needed rest. Um, your energy levels may be up now. You're coming out of that Nine of Swords type of energy. Some of you may have gone to get blood work or need to get blood work here. Um, if there was, maybe still is, a lot of anxiety here. So. Yeah, the devil in reverse. Maybe some fears. I'm coming out of that fear base, lower nature negative thinking just to hold low vibrational energy you're coming out of it what is this in regards to maybe love Libra may be coming out of thinking negative about a love situation that's why I said some people right now they may not seem like the person for you doesn't mean that they won't ever be you're now coming out of fear. Fear, anxiety. I'm, I'm coming out of anxiety, overthinking, overanalyzing, and not resting my brain in regards to a situation I was or am fearful about do keep in mind this devil could have been upright in the past it's in the reverse now it looks like spiritually you're getting over some like fear-based thoughts maybe surrounding love so, yeah the knight of wands maybe fire sign aries sagittarius leo fear-based thoughts about a home move too this new home or some credit issues some money issue if this is credit some legal loan come out of fearing that knowing that you'll have success in that a new start the ace of cups this could be love this could be you no longer are trying to control mentally a situation okay six of pentacle up reverse ten of ten of cups upright some of you could be or we're dealing with fire signs or this is you knight of, knight of wands up someone who runs hot and cold in and out passionate about 
one thing to another, making no commitment anywhere. You're no longer letting the the inequality of this situation rule you. Maybe it's a family dynamic. Judgment in reverse. Two of Wands. Queen of Cups. Ace of Swords. We were you could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio Cancer here. Um, you may be not giving something a second chance. There's too much inequality here. Somebody was infidelity there, lack of commitment causes for problems in the relationship. S problems that someone doesn't want to work on. They no longer want to fake the happiness with the Two of Cups. That's a, at times with these cards, that's a, a false happiness, a false sense of happiness. They don't want to give this a second chance. They want to move away from, choose a new path, even though there's opposition. Maybe away from or toward what they really want, what they really feel as if they need, what they feel as if fulfills them on an emotional level they're listening to their intuition you could be walking away or toward a cancer Scorpio Pisces this is cancer speaking truth about this with the ace of swords and having that new start okay should I take it all right Nine of Wands in reverse. Yeah, someone's laying down the situation. The lovers in reverse. Someone's not even making a decision. Seven of Pentacles. Not making a decision about. This is a person not even caring about the time and effort, energy they put in a situation. Wow, the sun. They just want positivity. Radiance. Maybe they got some type of illumination. Wow, the Emperor. They just want control back. It could be an Aries, Taurus. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Leo. I mean, anybody. Everybody's here. This is either you, Libra, or this is someone you're dealing with. They're refusing to make a choice because they're still tied to the past. That'll be illuminated to you in regards to this person. This that's a committed person. This emperor, this husband or boyfriend, long-term boyfriend of yours or somebody else's. I don't know. See, we can get another story somewhere else. Well, I mean, like, we're in another deck. It's going on with Libra. Maybe we can get some career and finance. Another career and finance. Five of Fire. Some indecision, competition. Six of ours. Indecision about a problem marriage, maybe even a second marriage, second relationship, inequality in a union. You're indecisive, or a fire sign is indecisive. In regards to maybe you, Leap, Messenger of Air, 
10 of five, yeah. They don't know if they can completely leave the past in the past. They don't know if they're completely over it. Right. Death card. They're going within to try to figure out do they really want to end this? Yep, the two of air. This could be you, Libra. Eight of air. Do they really want to put an ending to this? Something that's hurtful. An ending of a marriage, of a long-standing relationship that they still think about, that they kind of see no way out of. Ace of water, but establishing something new with someone else. Who is they establishing this with? Three of air. So this is a person in between worlds. Maybe Libra, there's somebody, maybe a Scorpio person who is still clinging on, holding on, or somebody's holding on to them. There's love, new love here, maybe with you. We do see all the air with the new love. There is divorce and separation. This could be for you or someone you're dealing with, but three of water. Yeah, somebody wants to reconcile. Reconcile while still in something else. Let's see if we get some career and finance. Finance for Libra. It's almost as if this person is on the brink of ending something. But still, but at the same time beginning. Career, okay, career and fun. Six of spades. So you're making small achievements over your burdens, moving, moving forward, um, getting in control of things. Five of clubs might be a little bit hesitant in decision in the playing cards deck. This talks about new love, new marriage, new commitment. Maybe, you know, that could be tied into your career and finance. Somebody does think, yeah, the marriage, here's Libra. Do I marry? Am I marrying for love? Am I marrying for stability? And then the ten of diamonds falls out. And then the king of spades, you Libra. Yeah, it's like, do I marry for love? Do I marry for stability? Somebody feels as if... You're partnering only because of not love. We'll just say that. Um, ten of spades. Yeah, they, they feel as if um, somebody's not. Um, somebody's definitely hasn't ended something. It's like one foot in, one foot out. Or do I partner just because I want? You know, some stability. I want a family dynamic or family unit. Seven of Clubs. Um, your psychic abilities are heightened. You know, you will have prosperity and uh, abundance here. Eight of Hearts. You may have visitors in your home. Three of Clubs. Gossip. Drama, rumors. You have to let go of the past. You have to let go of the burden. Somebody isn't done with the past. This could be a fire sign. There's new love and new marriage with a fire sign, possibly. But they they don't know if they want this life with you. And then look what's under the deck. Queen of Clubs. Okay. This is just a whole bunch of roundabout. Like somebody, if somebody would just get clear about what they wanted, things would just be so much better. We got motivation. 
take the next step now. Windfall kept falling out of the deck. Welcome the new health care change. Yep, gracefully aging. Decisions. We get the two of spades in almost every spread. Gotta make a decision. Gotta make a decision. You Libra or somebody else? Like, are you in or are you out? What are you doing? Healthcare change. We talked about that with the nine of spades. Might have been some health problems. You might have taken care of that. You might have gotten a second opinion that talks about that here. Gracefully aging. Evaluating yourself with that hermit card. Uh, inside and out. You know, um, what are you doing for yourself? Welcome the new. There is newness here. Uh, windfall. Could be a windfall of money or energy. Good luck. Take the next step now. Motivation. Let's see. We'll pull motivation. What is this about? the next step now knight of pentacles oh, they should, you may have to fight for what you want stand up for what you want yeah it might be a tough situation the death card on windfall complete transformation and ending of of something maybe a poverty because look these people are famished and without so an ending of Maybe going without or just having just enough. Take the next step now. Knight of Pentacles. Wow, I'm just kidding. Welcome the new Three of Cups. Someone wants to reconcile. Someone wants friendship. Someone wants... You may even become single. You may be dating. Some of you need to fight for what, what it is you want. You need to say what it is you want. There's no win-win. There can be a win-win situation here, but there's no... Somebody gets hurt. So it is what it is there. Healthcare change. Two of Pentacles wanted to pop out. So yeah, you may be getting a second, like I said, second opinion. Weighing up options here. Okay, we have options in regards to surgery, um, a lifestyle change, an abrupt change. Some of you may be getting surgery, secret surgery. You hadn't let someone know. Yeah, you got to go within and figure out if you even want to do that. Mm, gracefully aging. Nine of Cups. Nice. Get what you wish for. What you want. In old age. Make sure you're setting yourself up for that. Also, you know, if you find yourself that you're drinking too much, slow down. Yeah. New start. Gracefully aging. Start over. Um, even in... You're in older age, you can still have a new start. It's never too late to start over and get exactly what you want. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius person, Virgo, Scorpio. Okay, these two are coming out. Seven of Cups, the Chariot. Yeah. Press forward victoriously. Put yourself first. The Chariot carries on. Get in control. Gracefully aging. Seven of Cups again. I mean, not again, but Seven of Cups and Nine of Cups. Something about divinity, divine timing. That's Seven, Seven. Which is Seven. Yeah, this is divine. 
Grace from the age is not always about the outward appearance either. It's, you know, it's, it's because of the, you know, you evaluating yourself and your actions, your emotions, your mental. Are you maturing? Are you gracefully aging? You know, ask yourself that. Something about heaven's shown you something. You don't have heavenly signs, but I feel that heaven's shown you something. Meditation brings answers. Perfect, perfect timing. The situation will improve. Listen to your intuition. Intuition, be assertive. Yeah. The five of swords. Right, so we're gonna go hop over to the other side and clarify these angel answers um, to get a potential outcome if we do all of these things. All right. Click the link below. It's one dollar fifty cent to get a potential outcome. If you get aligned with what's going on with you, the change that's going on with you, um, what will come? Um, I hope that this reading gave you a bit of clarity. Um, know that I'm praying for you. Nothing but the highest prayers for you. Nothing but the highest prayers for me. And I thank you for praying for me as well. Take care. All of my information is below. I will talk to you soon. Bye.